All right, guys, I just flew into Detroit, landed. It's a beautiful day. And I got invited up here to check out a super top secret project that's going on. And uh, I figured, cut, cut through all the stuff and just walk in and show you what's happening. So we're just gonna cut into the shop here and I'll give you a look. All right, guys, we're at Team Z here in Detroit, just outside of Detroit. And uh, look at this, man. Pretty cool Fox body Mustang probably wondering why it has a blanket on it Brian Wolf everybody knows Brian and Dave Zimmerman everybody knows Dave so all the fans want to know everybody watching this video is gonna to want to know what's under the blanket so let's not waste any time let's show them what you guys have been working on here I'm not sure if you recognize what uh, Ford engine we're looking at but this is indeed a Ford engine Brian, tell us about what's going on here. Yep, well this is, uh, as you said, this is the new 2020 Super Duty engine that's uh, already been released to the media and I think people know a lot about the uh, about the new motor. But this it's a 7.3. It's a 7.3, which is uh, 445 cubic inch, small block. It's a uh, something I think is going to do great in the truck. I'm so excited about the Super Duty trucks with this motor because, again, it was designed and engineered to be as durable as any of the Ford truck engines going into Super Duty. So it's going to be a long life motor. But when you design a motor for a long life like that, it's also really ripe for high performance because so much of the structure, the design, the lubrication system is put there for high durability. So now you put it in a drag car where you put a high load, low, you know, for low cycles, you can still are going to be able to get an enormous amount of power out of these things. And we're so excited that Dave was able to uh, do some initial work on it to make it fit into, you know, one of my favorite Mustangs. Oh, I haven't been a Mustang I don't like, but I love the Fox bodies. And uh, it well, looks like been, it fits that, pretty well. Off. That's been the big question is, will this thing fit in a Fox body Mustang? And you guys have answered that question. So let's take a quick look at what we got going here. Dave, what did you, what did you do to get this thing to fit? Uh, we had to make a slight modification to the oil pan and then drop the steering rack about an inch and a half so that we could get the crank center line in uh, the determined area that we thought would be optimal for the Fox body in SN95. We did that, we made a set of solid motor mounts and a custom K member, which uh, when the motor's released, we'll definitely have those available for the public too. And this, so this thing is currently sitting in here, I, it, it looks like with a 10 speed automatic? Yeah, it's got the, the Mustang 10 speed automatic transmission in it. And it's stock, uh, have you altered the tunnel at all? No, we haven't had to do anything to the tunnel. Uh, we will have a transmission cross member to, to bolt everything in with the K-member kit also. So when it's all said and done, this should be a relatively simple swap for Fox body people yeah. who want this motor. Absolutely. It'll it'll go in just as easy as any small block Ford will in, into a Fox body. Uh, we'll also have headers. The, the actual deck height for this being a little bit taller than the 9.5 deck Windsor um, makes building headers a lot easier but we're gonna work with probably some of the other header manufacturers and have them have header kits available for them too. So Brian, you guys have proved the point this thing fits in a Fox body Mustang. Who will be the customer? Who will be the guy or the girl who takes one of these engines and puts it in a Fox body? I think the short answer would have been me 35 years ago. Um, I think you know the guy that is working at home doesn't have all the fabrication tools available so working with someone like Dave where you can actually buy the stuff bolt it in you know it's gonna fit and then wants to go fast just wants to enjoy have a car they can take to Dairy Queen go cruising go to the track on the weekend and I think it's gonna go well beyond just five Fox body Mustangs I foresee this going into you know later model Mustangs as they get older the engines get worn out they can throw this engine in and just have a great time with it knowing it's going to be a reliable Ford piece just like the Coyote and uh, other Ford's uh, engines that Ford has made recently. I'm really excited about it. All right Dave, so what will the typical kit come with for a Fox body guy or an SN95 guy to get this thing in the car? It'll be the swap K member, a transmission cross member, uh, we will have the stock pans that we'll perform the modification on until the aftermarket comes out with a uh, a good aftermarket pan for it. Um, we can have the, the various racks that are available, uh, motor mounts, coilover kit, you know, with the proper springs for the engine of this weight. Okay, and I noticed the, um, the intake is sitting kind of high. Obviously, it's a truck intake. 
and the throttle body arrangement with the big elbow. What, what's it going to take for a hood to clear that thing? Actually, this uh, we're just prototyping, playing around, trying to get a, a smooth radius. We'll probably work on a couple more designs to uh, make it more appealing. Uh, but we, with this design right here, we've had a three-inch cowl hood on, and it fits and it closes. Oh, that's awesome. All right, Brian, this thing makes out of the box 430 horsepower, 475, big torque because of the cam and the truck intake manifold. It's obviously a torquer. Um, what are your thoughts about putting some basic bolt-ons on this thing, like the headers, maybe doing more of a drag race or a road race cam swap? What kind of horsepower we talk with the basics? Yeah, a couple things first, just on that uh, factory horsepower rating. You have to remember, that's J1349 rated. So that means that was with a full exhaust system and a full truck air inlet system. So now you start to go to like a racer net correction. You put headers on this, you put an optimum cal, this thing's going to be significantly more power than that 430, which is a uh, J1349 SA net. But you start putting camshafts in here, start doing some port work on the heads, uh, I think up the compression ratio a bit. You know, I think that a 600 horsepower type variant is going to be pretty easy uh, to come across with just very simple bolt-ons. Dave, so out of the crate, were there any issues on the motor itself? I know this thing has oil coolers and different things in getting it to actually fit in the car. The oil cooler was a bit of a challenge because of the steering shaft location, but after talking to Brian, they really didn't need the oil cooler, oil cooler included on it. It was more of a, a, a towing option. So what we did is we, ma we made a relocation kit for it, and we're also gonna make a delete kit with an internal oil passage so that you don't lose pressure or anything like that. We'll have a complete kit that will come with the swap. When we put this package together, we wanted to have it uh, fairly simple for the home enthusiast to install the motor. Um, there's plenty of clearance on the rack, the steering shaft, uh, a manual master cylinder bolts right in. There's no clearance issue, so if you have to pull a valve cover at the track, it comes off fairly easy. Um, even though we cut the front end of this car off for ease of installing the motor and taking it in and out while you're we fabbing it up, a uh, stock radiator will fit in. Uh, you may have to just change the, the hose locations and things like that. Uh, the headers will be a simple bolt in. You won't have to pull the motor to get them in or out. And it looks like you will be able to use the stock heater if you wanted to run heat in your, in your swap. Brian, as we know, you know, for the Ford Faithful, it's a... Uh, not a good thing to put an LS in a Mustang, but people do it. So what makes this engine better than the LS? Why would, why would you put this engine in, the guy who maybe is considering an LS, why would you get one of these instead? This engine, you know, really has a lot of great features in it. So, you know, as you know, it has six bolt mains, two down, or four down, two across. So it's gonna be really strong at the bottom end. It's got a steel crankshaft in it. It's got a 422 bore stock. Okay, hey, think about it, 4.2 two inch bore. How big a valves are you gonna be able to put in this thing? And it's still a small block. It's still a 965 deck, uh, 453 bore space motor. So I think why the LS, and I don't wanna take anything away from it, even though I'm a Ford guy, it's a proven really, really good part. I just think this is has the features and the architecture to be a better part. And you're keeping that blue oval bloodlines in the car, which a everybody loves. Ab absolutely, I mean, uh, you know, there's. People, you know, like you said, I don't want to dog the LS too much because it is, I, I do respect it a lot. But there are those Chevy Faithfuls, just like the Model A's, when guys put small block Chevys in those, you know, they're putting the LS's in these. But I think when people actually get to look at this engine, see how easy it's going to be to work on, how good the oiling system is in it, that they're going to say, you know what, I think I want to keep a Ford in my Ford.